thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following me. Hey, and that's what they did. Okay, they always send a so-called white woman in to take us away from our God, man. Right. The end of that. Go ahead, read it out. The book of First Andrews, chapter nine, verse seven. Bring it up. So Andrews arose up and said unto them, uh -huh. "Ye have transgressed the law in marrying strange wives." In marrying what? In marrying strange wives. What is that so-called white woman? Marrying, marrying strange wives. Man, that's a strange wife, man. Something that's else right. out of the Lord, man. That's a strange. That's a strange wife, man. Right. Wait. Thereby to increase the sins of Israel. And they just increased the sins of Israel. They have what's going off, man. We are the battle axes of the Most High, and we just here to wake up and edify our people, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right? You so called blacks, you so called Hispanic, you so called Native American Indians, y'all are the children of Israel. Y'all are the Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. This Bible is your nationality. This Bible is your heritage, right? Let me get to Romans 13. Yeah, I know that one. Yeah, I know. Go ahead, bring it out. What you got? Oh, yeah, too. Well, shit. Put another precept. Read. <laughs> the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11. In that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Hey, you so called blacks and Hispanics and Native American Indians. It's time for y'all to wake the hell up, man. That's right. This is not a game, right? Your king, who you call Christ, is on his way back, man. Right. All right? And judgment is gonna start with the house of Israel, right? I'm gonna get that in First Peter chapter four and verse seventeen. Real quick, man. It's time for y'all to wake up. Now you, you um, stay there, dumb. Don't let him get that. Read. Oh, no, you good. Hey, man. Hey, man. Do that too. I got you. Go. Romans 13 and 11, in and that, and that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Hey, it's time for you to wake the hell up. You you are not black, you're not African American, you're not Mexican. Right. You're not a wet back, you're not a nigga. Right, right. All right? Y'all Israelites. Right, hey, right. hey, brother with the white, uh, long sleeve white shirt with the blue shorts. What, what's your nationality, brother? Brother, you, I just said that, you, that you're not black. Brother, you a Hebrew Israelite, brother. Right. That's your nationality. Don't ever forget that, man. Right. All right, that's something that you that you're supposed to be proud of, brother. You are literally a king walking on the earth, man. Right? right. But go ahead, finish it up. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Hey, our salvation is near what we believe. We don't have a lot of time left. Y'all have to get back in this book and read these prophecies, man. All right, the prophecies are unfolding right now. Right. World War Three is about to kick out. Right. They, the, 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 all the nations right now are just choosing teams, man. Right. But after all the teams are chosen, all hell is for the break loose on this earth. That's right. All right. Ain't gonna be no more going to the damn grocery store, man. Y'all ass gonna be just kind of out man. It's a famine coming on this land, man. Right. But not only a food, but a famine of the word. One day y'all gonna be looking for the Hebrew oh, Israelites. Oh, y'all ain't gonna be able to find us because we, we gonna be hiding, man. Right. Go ahead, what you do? Well, go ahead, finish it. The night is far spent. Uh -huh. The day is at hand. Uh -huh. Let us therefore, cast, let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Hey, we have to cast off the works of darkness, man. All right, we have to come back to the marvelous light of the Most High. We, it's time for us to start, start keeping the commandments and stop keeping the commandments of the so-called white man, man. Right. Right. Read. Let us put on the armor of light. Hey, we have to put on the armor of light. Read. Let us walk honestly. Honestly, as in a day, not in rioting and drunkenness. Right? Not in rioting, riotiness, and in drunkenness, man. Alright? Read. Not in chambering and wantonness. Uh -huh. Not in strife and envy. And not what? in strife and envy. My bad, right? But these are the things that this country, sister, where you going? What's your nationality? Huh? What is your nationality? We, that's what we've been teaching. I'm trying to teach you who you are. Sister, come on back. I can't let you leave here without y'all knowing who y'all are. Sister, you are a Hebrew Israelite. Where's your daddy from? From Texas? So your, your daddy would be called African American or so-called African American? Uh, so kind of his nationality, he's mixed. He's, like, he's mixed with what? He mixed with everything. Mixed with every, like, a nationality. I mean, that's really not a such thing as mixed. Right, right. Who is your father's father? Is your granddaddy black? Like Cuban. Your granddaddy Cuban? Yeah. So then, so your granddaddy on your daddy's on your daddy's side. So so sister, you a Cuban. 
You a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Manasseh. All right, you an Israelite from the northern uh, kingdom, from the uh, northern tribes. Okay, don't ever forget that. You a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Manasseh. Right. All right, and there's no such thing as mixed. You are what your father is. Somebody got that right. numbers? Go ahead. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. Yeah. And they assembled all the congregation together all right, all right. on the first day of the second month. Huh? And they declared their pedigrees uh -huh. after their families by the house of their father. Hey, so you are what your father is, y'all. It's not really a such thing as mixed, man. Y'all have to search out who y'all father is, okay? Hey, two brothers over there walking. Hey, what's your nationality, bro? Hey, I'm just trying to tell you that you a... Hey, brother, you don't tell me fuck you, brother. I'm just trying to tell you the greatest thing on the earth. Man, people bug the hell out, man. Brother, you a king, brother. You a damn king, you, you bug the hell out. Right? Man, let me get do the do around me 28, 28, man. Damn, that's, that's horrible, man. Man, how niggas hate, hate, hate their own people? Well, it's a curse. That shows that we the Israelites, man. All right, what you got, all right? Let's go ahead right now. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. And that brother spit with madness, man. He just, he, you know, he kind of twitching and throwing up the middle finger and, and jerking. Don't know what the hell going on, man. Read. The Lord shall smite thee with madness uh -huh. and blindness uh -huh. and an astonishment of heart. And brother, you a damn astonishment, oh. But bro, I ain't trying to go in on you like that. But brother, you look like an astonishment. What, what? All right, I know he mad. Brother, come your butt back around here, brother. Stop being a pup, man. You see that? Read. It's like, it's like, no, good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness uh -huh. and blindness uh -huh. and astonishment of heart. And thou shalt grope at noonday. Hey, so a lot of y'all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, y'all are groping in noonday. Y'all are walking around like a damn blind man. Right? You're kind of walking around like Ray Charles, man. You, you, you don't know where you're going. Y'all you, don't know up from down. Y'all are confused out here, man. And I know that y'all can feel the confusion because before I came into this truth, that's how I felt like I was in a damn twilight zone, man. Like, what the hell is really going on? Right? Why, why is it that we on the bottom of society? Why is it that it's okay for the so-called white man to beat us down, to beat us up, jump us, all right? Throw us in damn jail. Why is that okay? Why is that, why, why does that get looked over? Why is it okay for the so-called white man to shoot us in the back 55 times and then they get off scot-free? Wake him up, boy. But if we hit a white woman in a damn head with a chair, we get a damn life sentence, man. Right, oh, right, man. They just kinda, man, they just kinda wink at it, man. Right? Y'all y'all have to understand who y'all are and why things are how they are, man. Read the book of Zechariah, chapter 11, verse five. Who's Okay, my Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty? Hold on, read that again. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty? Read that one more time. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty? Hey, so y'all answer me. I know y'all listening. Who are the people that slay us and then hold themselves not guilty? Who is that, man? Who is this book talking about? Every nation is in this book, man. Right. 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 The so-called white man slow to slay the so-called Hispanic and Native American men. And the, you know what I'm saying? And hold themselves not guilty, man. Right? Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 6, verse 10. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, huh? How long, O Lord, holy and true, does that not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? Now, that should be y'all, hey, eyes up. But that should be y'all um, mind frame, man. All right, y'all should be waiting on the Lord to jump up and take action, man. Right? All right? We should be waiting on our king to come and redeem us, man. That's it on that? All right. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, and verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Hold on, read that again. But this is a people. Rob is spoiled. And we are people oh, that's, that's robbed and hey, spoiled, man. Hey, y'all yeah, yeah, have to understand the so-called black and Hispanics. Yeah, we are the creators of all things, man. Jacob is the creator of all things, man. Let me get that in Jeremiah. Let me get that in Jeremiah chapter 10. You know what it's in? Chapter 10, like verse 18, yeah, 15. Hey, we, read that again, huh? But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Right, we are a people robbed and spoiled, man. All right, we are the creators of all things, but yet we on the bottom of society and we broke as hell, man. Why is that? Read. They are all of them snared in holes. We all snared in holes, man. 
We the ones that's damn thrown in prison, okay? We, we, we're the ones where they put all this debt and stipulation on us, right. all this child support, all these, all these different, all these different wicked devices that Esau got to keep us there in homes, man. Right, right. All right? Read. And they are here in prison houses. Read. They are for a prey and none delivery. And we are for a prey, man. We just out here for the so-called white man to shoot us down and nobody's gonna deliver us, man. Right. All right? That's why we supposed, that's why we have to turn back to our Lord, man. Right. Christ is gonna be the one to, to deliver us, man. They said on that. Right. Yeah, finish it. I got you. For a spoil, and none said, restore. And none said, restore. Now, that means nobody's gonna tell y'all that y'all are the children of Israel, man. Right. And that's why y'all, that's why your teachers are out here right now. Let me get Isaiah chapter 20. What's that, 20 and 30? 30 and 20, bring it out. Huh? The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 16. Bring it out. The portion of Jacob is not like them. Hey, the portion of Jacob is, is not like them. Hey, brother, what's your nationality? Come on over here, give me, give me, give me a second, man. What's your, what's your nationality? According to the brown, what, what, what you gonna say? African American, okay, I want you to look at this sign and show me where, where you see you at. Point, point it out. Uh, American black, Judah, brother. Have you ever heard of the Hebrew Israelites? Well, guess what, brother? You a Hebrew Israelites, bro. Hey, the, 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 the people in this Bible, your forefathers, King David, all right? Isaiah, Samuel, all these mighty men, right? Nehemiah, all these mighty men, these are your forefathers. Right. You share their blood, brother, and not everybody share this, this come through this bloodline. All right, you are a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah, all right? Judah is the head tribe, brother, okay? Guess who else comes out of the tribe of Judah? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna show you something, whoever get there first. Watch this. Read this. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, and verse 14. Read that. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. That who sprang out of Judah? That our, our Lord, Lord sprang out, out of Judah. Judah. Hey, the scriptures say that it's evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Real who, Jew. who is our Who is our Lord? Jesus. Hey. Who, who we call Jesus Christ. Hamashiach, Yahawashah in the, in the Paleo Hebrew. Right. All right. But Jesus comes out of the lineage of Judah, come out the bloodline of Judah. So, brother, look. You, you are literally wrong to brother. Christ is your kinfolk, man. Y'all had to think about that like that, man. Christ is literally your kinfolk, man. You see what I'm saying? Brother, you are royalty on, on the earth, man. Let me get that in, um, let me get Genesis chapter 32. Genesis chapter 32 and 28. Go ahead, bring it out. This is the book of First Peter, chapter two, and verse nine. But ye are a chosen generation. We are what? But ye are a chosen generation. Brother, what's your name? Quinn. Brother, my name is Barakai. Quinn, you the Lord say we are a chosen generation, brother. You are chosen, okay? And you ain't you don't have no choice but to be chosen. That's right. All right, read. Hey, royal priesthood, and you are royalty, brother. Right. Brother, listen, you a king in real life, not this this like not no make believe stuff, brother. You are you you come out of the lineage of Israel, brother. You're not an African. We are Hebrews. We look the same, but we're different. But read that. And holy nation, uh -huh. and peculiar people. A who? A peculiar people. That ye should show forth the praises of him uh -huh. who had called you out of darkness. Hey, so you have to show the praises of the, of the, of the Lord, man. You, you, you have to give praise to the Lord that called you out of darkness. Right, right now he's calling you out of darkness. Darkness is being associated with the ways of the white man's world, man. Right. Telling you that it's okay to eat pork. All right, telling you it's, it's okay to eat crab and lobster, brother. Telling you that it's okay to go to work on damn Saturday and to buy and sell on Saturdays. Because that's not our, this, this is our heritage, brother. Wait, they, they stole our heritage, gave it to some damn white people. Now they calling themselves Jewish, but brother, you the real Jew. Right. Not only did they steal us off the coast of Africa, they stole our nationality and told you, you just a nigga. Right. Right. And brother, right now, the Lord is calling us out of darkness, right? right. And to his marvelous light. To his marvelous light, which is his law, statutes, and commandments. Brother, you have to get back in this book. This is our history. Look, black history go way past slave ships, brother. Right. All right? Read. Okay, go ahead, Don. The book of Genesis, chapter 32, verse 28. Right. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. All right, you so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, man. Y'all listen. All right, the Lord said your name should now no longer be called Jacob. He's talking to our forefather. Read. But Israel. But who? But Israel. 
shall thy name so like it. But Israel, for as a prince, has thou power with God. So that's what that's what makes us makes us royalty through our forefather Jacob. Thank you. I, through our forefather Jacob. We are princes and we princesses and princes and kings, man. Through 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 the lineage of our forefather Jacob, man. We have we have power with the most high God. The other nations don't have power with the, with the most high God. Hey, let me get through the Rhyme 76. Go ahead, finish that. That it? Yeah, uh, Salaki. For Salaki, but and he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, uh -huh. but Israel, uh -huh. for a prince, for as a prince has thou power with God. Hey, so we are we're princes and kings, man. All right, that has power with the most high God. Read. And with men and has prevailed. And we have power with men and we have prevailed. That's great. Over the so-called white man, man. All right, which is a weak, feeble, and base man. Right? You got more on that? Or is that a different precept? All right, hold it. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. But thou art in holy peace. Hey, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Man, what that brother? God, I let him get away from you. Hey, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Lord say that y'all are holy people. All right, hold what you got to. Let me get your 227, man. Read. For thou art in holy people uh -huh. until the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. Hey, the Lord has chosen thee. So called black man. Hey, black man. Hey, so called black man. Hey, brother over there with the camouflage shirt, with the, with the glasses. Hey, the Lord say that he's chosen you, brother, and you are holy. Right. Brother, you are royalty, brother. Right. Hey, y'all have to understand this. Hey, watch this. Start there from the top. Brother, listen. Because you are a child, you are a child of Israel. You 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 are Israelite, right? Read this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, listen, listen chapter this. seven and verse six. Uh -huh. But thou art in holy people. Uh -huh. I told the Lord thy God, uh -huh. the Lord thy God had chosen thee. Hey, the Lord thy God has chosen you, brother. He's talking directly to you. Read to be a special people. The Lord said that you are special. Our people are special. Everybody's not the same. Read unto Himself uh -huh. above our people, brother. We are above our people. Everybody is not equal. That is a lie that the so-called white man has taught us. Right. All right, we are better than them in every kind of way. Hell, we better than all the nations in every kind of way, man. Right. Ain't nobody better than the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, man. Right? right? right. That are upon the face of the earth. That are upon the face of the earth, man. All right, the scriptures say what they say, man. Hey, y'all have to come out of Christianity. Y'all got to come out of Islam. Y'all got to come out of this darkness, man. Right? Read. The book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. That he's in the midst of who? In the midst of Israel. Hey, the Lord is only in the midst of the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man and woman. Read. That I am in the midst of Israel. And I am the Lord your God. He's alive. Who's God? The Lord your God. Hey, brother, oh man, brother clean. Brother, <laughs> what's your nationality, bro? Bro, all white with the, with the, with the, all, all, all white with the, with the cowboys. It's a trick question, man. I already know the answer. What, what's that, what's that, what's that? It's Judea. Judea? Yeah, Judea. Oh, so, brother, so you already know who you are. Yeah, I so, it's a trick question. So, trick so you already know that you are Hebrew Israelite, brother. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, so, do you know what that mean? What it mean? Let me get through the right, let me get through the right 10 to 12, man. Hey, right, well, watch this, bro. Because that means that you come from a royal bloodline, brother. You a, you a real life king on the earth. Look, ain't nobody as fly and as clean as us, brother. All the other nations look at it. We just brought that precept up because we are the south of the earth. But all the other nations look at how we move and they move how we move. Brother, you have to understand why. It's because of who you are. We are literally gods on the earth, man. All right? We, we, we are the children of the, of, the, of, the, of the most high God, brother. Okay? Watch this. Go ahead, read this up. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now Israel. And now who? And now Israel. That's you, brother, because you are Israelite. We're not Africans, man. We don't even look Africans. Hey, you see an African walking down the street, you, you, you kind of like, damn, man, look at African. Hey, when you see an African, man, we kind of call it up. We're not the same people, and they know that we're not the same people. That's why they don't treat us fairly. Or, you know, they, they stand out from us, man, because we ain't the same people. Now, some of us are in Africa, though. Don't, don't get it twisted. But watch this read. What do the Lord, that God, require of thee? So you have requirements as an Israelite. All right, the Lord chose you, and you really don't have a choice. All right? You really don't have a choice. Hey, hold what you got. Let me get First Peter, First Peter 4 and 17. Read. But to fear the Lord, thy God. You have to fear God, brother. And how do you fear, fear the most high God? So, uh, I feel like just look in the mirror, because God is a reflection of us. You know what I'm saying? 
No, we're supposed to be a reflection of him, and that's what Christianity teaches. Right, yeah. Christianity is kind of teach us to, for, for, for the most, they want the Bible to conform to our ways, but brother, we have to conform to the ways of the most high. Right, 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 right. Hey, straight up, brother. All right, read. That's a prayer. The Lord that God. God. Fear God, brother. So walk in all his ways. You have to walk in the Lord's ways. What are the ways of the uh, Lord? In righteousness. In righteousness. What is righteousness? Just doing good, being good. Just doing good? Yeah. Hey, let's get righteousness for the brother. Because you saying some, some good things, man. All right? But the, the, the problem is, we don't, we really don't know what them words mean. All right? So we finna show you what righteousness is, all right? Go ahead. Let's do it the chapter 6, verse 25. Bring it out. And it shall be our righteousness. And it shall be our righteousness. This is the definition out of the Bible, what righteousness is. Not what the white man taught us, all right? Bring If we observe to do all these commandments. To do what? If we observe to, to do, do all, all these commandments. commandments. Righteousness is doing the commandments, read. Before the Lord, my God, uh -huh. well, our God, as he had commanded us. Right. So being righteous is to do his commandments. That's what that's what makes you righteous, keeping the commandments of the most high God. So can you name me, can you name me three commandments? Uh, thou shalt not steal, kill, and covet thy neighbor. Hey, he can't covet thy neighbor. How many commandments are there? Ten. Is it ten? Where is thou shalt not rape in the Ten Commandments? It's not. But it's not. So that means it's more than Ten Commandments. The white man is more than Ten Commandments. We have to understand. Rape, rape falls under murder, brother. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Rape falls, falls under mother. Who is that? You said 600. Hey, it's 613 Commandments, brother. That's right. I'll uh, rape Well, brother, where your fridge is at, man? Back in line, back in line, man. Hey, man. Y'all got to make haste to keep the commandments, brother. All right? So, brother, I'm going to ask you this. Do you shave your uh, beard off? Yeah, I do, sir. I do, Okay, so, that's according to the Most High God, that's sin for of our people. That's why a lot of people, when we shave, we get, they get out irritated, get, get hurt, get them, get them bumps, man. All right? We are not supposed to get them craters in our face. We are not supposed to shave, brother. All right? The Lord, when you look at us, how do you tell a female line from a male line? Because the main brother and the Lord want to see us with our main brother. All right, now, it don't have to be big and, and, and bushy, but it could be low like twin. It, it could be low, but you have to grow your beard as much as it can grow. You can line it up. It, it, it's, it's okay to line it up, but brother, you gotta stop shaving, man. The Most High don't like that. All right. Hey, do you bow your head? No, I don't. Okay. Okay. So. We're not supposed to bow our head either, okay? Okay, read out. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 21, and verse 5. They shall not make bones upon their head. Read. Neither shall they shave out the corners of their beard, nor make any cuttings in our flesh. So we're not supposed to make cuttings in our flesh and get tattoos. If you already got the those, the Lord forgive you for those things, but now we're bringing out the commandments. So there ain't no more sacrifices for sins at that point. I gotta go, I got somebody to wait. You know? Okay, brother, keep the commandments. Yeah. Hey, get his brother fly, man. Huh. Huh, get, get that brother fly. Brother, you a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's your race. That's your nationality, man. All right? Keep the commandments. Don't buy and sell it on the on the Saturday if, 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 if it be possible. All right? I'm right. taking y'all out live on you. Brother, you got to get your fringes. Okay, I'm trying, man. It's going to take me some time. All right? Y'all ride around the camera for my grandma. Okay, check us out on YouTube. Hey, and when Christ come back, was a so-called black man. Hey, he, he's going to start his judgment with the house of Israel. That's right. All right? Hey, let me get that real quick. Just uh, listen as you, as you walk, okay? Bring it up. The book of First Peter, chapter 4, verse 17. Bring it up. For the time has come uh -huh. that judgment must begin at the house of God. Hey, you hear that? You so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans? Y'all are the house of God. We are the children of Israel. Right. Hey, the so-called white man took the Hebrew Israelites to captivity. Right. They had us as slaves. Right. And they took our babies and fed them to alligators. Right. The children of the Most High God, man. Right. And they got to pay for that, man. Right. right? Hey, man, judgment is coming for the so-called white man. That's right. right. And all these other nations, man. Right? Read. And if it first begin at us, uh -huh. what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? Hey, you so-called black, Spanish, and Native Americans, y'all have to come back to y'all God, man. Right. Hey, straight up, you have to repent, man. Y'all have to repent and, and come back to your to your God, man. Got the uh, yard brought this out early, but let's go ahead and get repent. Let's get Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. All right? We're going to show y'all how to repent. All right? You, you so-called Mexican, y'all are not Mexicans. 
Y'all are Hebrew Israelites from the tribe of Issachar. That's right. Y'all are royalty. Y'all are kings and princesses, man. Y'all come from a royal bloodline. The white man gave you Hispanic, which means property of damn Spain. Right. Which, are now, which, are, which are Edomites. Right. Those are Europeans. Yeah. Took y'all language and taught y'all how to speak damn Spanish, man. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The Harlem that people up. Yahweh, yes. Brother, what's your nationality, first of all? What's your nationality, brother? I'm a Hebrew. Yes, you are mine. Brother, you ain't finna come up. be on my best foot. Hey, he won't force nothing. He won't scream at people. My brother, he blowing the hell out, man. I don't even know what to start with you, brother. I don't know what Hey, saying. what's your nationality, brother? Hey, I just told you I'm a Hebrew. You a Hebrew? Brother, you, brother, you don't look like a Hebrew. Well, you, you look like a Samoan, brother. Hey, yeah, I know. I got Prove to me that you a Hebrew, brother, because you don't. Brother, you don't look like a Hebrew. Hey, let me let me get Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Let's see if this brother's a Hebrew. Hey, so called Hispanics. Hey, so called Mexican. Y'all are the children of Israel. Right? You don't have to rule Hey, let me get Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 1, man. This ain't a demon, man. This ain't a demon. But you don't read now. You don't read now. Sister, sister right there with the green. What's your nationality? Since I see you looking, don't be trying to run away now. Sister, what's your nationality, sis? When you come, hey, when you come, what's your nationality? Hey, what's your nationality, sis? Hey, what's your nationality, sis? When you come, hey, when you come, what's your nationality, sis? I put a nine in my head when I was 22. When you grew up, they told you that you was a black woman, right, sis? When you see him. When you see us, I die for hey, the COVID. Hey, since you're not a black woman, ago. since you're a Hebrew Israelite, okay? You see him? Right? You right. tell him the Since you're a Hebrew Israelite, you're, 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 you're a problem. princess, and, and since hey, we have to dress, a, we have to dress modest. Uh, he gonna right? know Let me get these ass five one. I'm right now. You're supposed to get some prophets. This is what the Ecclesiastes. That's what I'm Verse one. Keep that foot. Do what? Keep that foot. What the Lord say? Keep that foot. Hey, man, keep your damn foot, man. Hey, man, watch man. Watch where you walking at, man. Read. When thou go to the house of God, hey, when you coming into the house of God, man, don't hey, don't come with that disrespect, man. Read and be more ready to hear. And be more ready to what? And be more ready to hear. And be more ready to what? And be more ready to hear. Be more ready to run my dumb mouth. And be more ready to hear. Hey, man, be more ready to hear, man. Read. Did you give a sacrifice? A fool to give a sacrifice of a damn fool, man. I be making a fool out of yourself and your family, man. Right? You making a fool out, out, out of your wife and, and your daughter, man. Oh, you up here with this foolishness, man. Boy, God, look. Making a damn fool of yourself. Read. But they consider not that they do evil. And you don't even consider you really wicked as shit, man. Right? You wicked as hell, man. Right. Read. Be not rash with thy mouth. Hey, and don't be rash with your mouth, man. Right. Hey, the most high uh, put judgment on your ass, just like he did the, 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 the sister last Sabbath, man. Right? right? Read. And let not thine heart be hasty. To utter anything before God. Hey, you up before the most high God right now, man. You man, brothers really don't have fear of the Lord, man. That's right. Okay. Sister, what's your nationality? What's your nationality? Hey, let me get some laws real quick. Let me get through the rhyme between two and five. Where's my pamphlets? You, you know already had, so you already know who you, you done already heard this before. Cause she over here asking for, for pamphlets. Sister, why are you really over here? I got the bottle right here. Sis. Sis, are you over here for a pamphlet? What's your nationality? You what? You, the nation of what? She said Israel. No, not Islam. You mean Israel. I'm the nation Jerusalem. Sister, you, you most likely you an Israelite. Sis, you got you to keep I the commandments. Him, I want him to tell me where I'm from. Sis, I'm, I'm going to tell you where you're from. Who is your father, sis? But you're not gonna come up here and run shit. <laughs> right? Hey, get that pen, man. Hey, man, sis, hot, man. Sis, 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 hot, drunk. Sis, drunk, man. I'm not. Right. Sis, you are drunk, sis. Hey, man, let me get, uh, what you got? Let me get Rebel, what you got? I'm so Indian. We this is the book of first. So you say you so Indian. Since you're an Israelite and you gotta dress in modest apparel, you gotta stop being out here drunk, man. And damn, looking like a whore. Sis, that, that is a damn shame. Man, come back to your nationality, sister, and put some damn clothes on, man. Hey, bro, I want to see that. Bro. I want to see all that hanging out the damn bottle and shit just swinging, man. Right. Eight years ago, she was like that. Eight years ago, not like, like, eight years ago, you was like that, yeah, man. That's a damn shame, man. Sis, when you going to change? Hey, I, I ain't going to lie. Hey, growing up in this world, hey, I wasn't no damn good. 
Like, hey, I wasn't no damn good, man. Hey, don't y'all tired of being a damn no good nigga? Break it up. Right? Y'all have to eventually get tired of that, man. Of the same old, y'all doing the same old shit every day, man. It's so like, yeah, yeah. doing the same, being the same old every day. Right. All right, y'all out here groping the noonday, man. Y'all are kings of the earth, brothers. Y'all don't even know who y'all are. Y'all don't even know that y'all the children of Israel, man. Right. And the Lord is coming back for y'all, man. He's coming back to put us on the top of society. That's right. Hey, brothers, brothers. The brothers that, the brothers that listen to me, but they don't want to look at me. Hey, did y'all know when Christ come back, we we put the so-called white man in slavery? Right. That's right. Hey, all you so-called blacks, did y'all did y'all know the so-called white man is going into slavery for putting the children of Israel into captivity? See y'all. All right. Where hey, man, y'all have to want y'all national. Y'all have to want y'all inheritance. Y'all have to want y'all inheritance, man. Right. Right. All right. Man, let me get what you, what you got. The book of Second Peter, chapter two, verse seven, yeah. verse six, and the turning and the turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ash, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ash. So homosexually, sexuality is not okay. Read, right. right. condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example. Uh oh, making them a sample. I see something. Let me get Deuteronomy seventy three. Deuteronomy seventy three. We go ahead and finish that now. Making them an example unto those that should live ungodly. Hey, we have to, hey, we can't be homosexuals out here, man. Just like the Lord destroyed. Hey, the Lord is gonna burn this place up just like he burned up Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. Hey, brother, right there, brother. Brother that look like me with the big white teeth. All I see is teeth over there because you look just like me. And now all you see is teeth over here, brother. All right? <laughs> hey, did you know? You, hey, you ain't supposed to be with that, man. You, brother, you ain't supposed to be with that abomination. That's hey, right. thus says our God. This Bible is it, not even for them. This Bible is for us. Right. Brother, right. They, they stole us, put us in slavery, stole our nationality, Bring stole up. our heritage, and made it for them. Bring it it, it made it for everybody, man. Bring it up. Hey, watch this Deuteronomy 73. Bring it up. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 3. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. The Lord said, Neither shall the Israelites make marriages with them. Read, thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son. Hey, right, we're not supposed to give our daughters to, to the so called white man. Right. right? Read, nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. And hey, first, first, I'm going to wait till this train pass by because this brother got to hear this. Right. This, this, this brother got to hear this because they over there laughing. But, brother, I'm dead serious. Hey, right, when Christ come back, you got that white woman on your lap, he gonna cut your damn head off, man. Right, hey, right. y'all think Christ sweet, man, but he ain't. Hey, man, Christ is not coming back, passing out flowers and candy canes, man. Christ is coming back to, to bring judgment on this earth. Right. And to set everything back in order. All right? The so-called white man, the one that taught us that we're supposed to be mixing with each other like that, man. Hey, the so-called black man is only supposed to be with these 12 tribes right here on the side. Right. Right. So-called Mexican. Right, so-called Dominican, Haitian. All right, we got all these beautiful, those Brazilians down there. Oh, right, we got all these beautiful people that we choose from, man. That's right. Why would you choose that, man? Right. Right? Why in the hell would you choose that, brother? Read. Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you. Because in your spirit, and what's resonating out of your spirit, that's why, especially the white women, that's why they cleave to us, man. Right. Because they know that we guys on the earth, man. That's right. Tell them to come back and keep the commandments. That's Read right. this from the time, right? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 3. Bring it up. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. The Lord say, don't make marriages with them. Right. He, he didn't say it's okay for everybody to, be, to mix like that. Read. Right. Thy daughter, thou shalt not give unto his son. Read. Nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. Read. For they will turn away thy son for following me. Hey, and that's what they did. Okay, they always send a so-called white woman in to take us away from our God, man. Right. See the internet? Go ahead, bring it up. The book of First Andrews, chapter 9, verse 7. Bring it up. So Andrews arose up and said unto them, uh -huh. Ye have transgressed the law in marrying strange wives. In marrying what? In marrying strange wives. What is that so-called white woman? Marrying marry strange, strange wives. Hey, man, that's a strange wife, man. Something that's that's right. the Lord, man. That's a strange, that's a strange wife, man. Right. Read. That by to increase the sins of Israel. And they just increase the sins of Israel. They have us going off, man. Hey, I bet you this so-called white woman have you going home eating a damn bloody ass steak, man. Right. All right. And then what you say? <laughs> oh, man. Hey, read that. Read. And now by confessing, give glory unto the Lord, God of our fathers, and do his will. Hey, and do whose will? And do, do his, his will. will. And I do what I want to do. And do his will. America said I can do whatever I want to do. And do his will. I'm a man, a so-called white woman. And do his will. Lord, say do his will, bro.
brother. You an Israelite, right? Read. And do his will uh -huh. and separate yourself. And do what? And, and separate, separate yourself right? from the heathen. From the who? From, from the, the heathen. heathen. What is that white woman? From, from the heathen. Hey, that's the heathen, brother. That's right. That's so called heathen. She, man, these other nations are the heathen. Right. Hey, we on the top. Hey, we on the top nation, man. That's Ain't nobody right. better than us, man. That's right. Ain't doing anything. Running. Damn, brother, I'm just saying, now it's you Hey, y'all see how they do for the, for the other nations? For a damn you see dog, that? They're doing it for a damn dog. Thank you, Captain Maccabees. For a damn, for a damn dog, man. Right? Read. And do his will uh -huh. and separate yourself from the heathen of the land uh -huh. and from the strange women. From the who? From yeah, the strange women. Right. Could a strange woman to put a spell on you? She all in your ear. You supposed to be the damn man standing up. She all in your ear. And now you're throwing up the fuck you. You, you, hey, man, you, you she's a puppet master, man. You, 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 you a damn puppet, man. You ain't even doing that. She doing that witchcraft in your ear, kind of whispering in your ear, and now your damn finger is just kind of going up, man. That shit is weak and effeminate. Read the book of First Ezra, chapter eight, verse seven. For both they and their sons had married with their daughters, and their holy seed is mixed with the strange people. Hey, we don't want to mix our seed with these damn heathen, man. Right? Right. Our seed is not, hey man, we can't give our strength up to these nations, man. Right. Read, and the holy seed is mixed with the strange people of the land. Uh -huh. And from the beginning of this matter, uh -huh. the rulers and the great men have been partakers of this iniquity. Hey man, right. and our rulers are partakers of, of, of this iniquity. You got damn Charles Barkley, all, all our damn leaders of our nation are uh, dealing with these damn other nations when they not supposed to, man. Right. Hey, read it out. This is the book of Surah, chapter 26, and verse 19. My son, keep the flow of thine age, sound. Oh yeah, that's great precept. Hey, brother, hey, brother over there throwing the F you for the, for the damn so-called white woman. Hey, read this, man. My son, keep the flow of thine age, sound. Hey, man, the Lord is talking to you, man, read. And give not thy strength to the stranger. Hey, don't give your strength to a stranger, man. Those are strange people, man. Hey, them people don't love us, man. Well, hey, right. did you just watch the Alabama boat rides? Hey, don't you... Brother, hey, check this. Don't you know race wars are coming? Hey, race right. wars are coming, and I'm gonna tell you, her people is not gonna accept you. They gonna, they gonna hang your black ass. That's right. right. That says the Lord, man. Right? Look at Emmett Till, brother. Get out. Hey, hey, her people, when, the, when these race wars break out, we just seen a little glimpse of it with, with the last week with the, with the whole Alabama um, riverboat ride, man. Right. Hey, and the Lord rolls out people up to put these damn hands on these damn right. dogs, man. And you walking around hugging and kissing a damn dog, brother. Right? Man, her people gonna kill you. You doing all that smart, man. Her people gonna kill your ass, brother. I'm, I'm letting you know, thus says the Lord. Read! Went down his gut, a fruitful possession, huh? through all the field. Huh? Show it with thine own seed. Do what? Show it with thine own seed. Give it to the nasty white woman. Show it with thine own seed. Give it to the Chinese woman. Show it with thine own seed. Brother, sow it with your own seed. And this is why. Hey, this is why. Read! Trusting in the goodness of thy stuff. Right, you have to trust in the goodness of your stuff, man. Which is your children, read. So they race. So they what? So right, they race. Right. So that's your race, man. Hey, wait, hey. We gotta stop loving these other people so damn much, man. We don't even love our own race. Our brother's trying to, hey, we're trying to tell you that you're a king, brother, and who you are. Yeah, yeah, all right? Yeah. And you tell me, fuck you, man. Right? Read that. Go back a little bit, read. Yeah. So they race. Which thou leavest, so thy race that thou leavest, read, shall be magnified. So our race will be magnified. Stop magnifying the so-called damn white man. Right. That shit weak right. as hell, brother. I ain't like that. Read, having the confidence of the good descent. Having the confidence of the good descent, man. Knowing that we ain't gonna have no defects in our damn children, man. Our children coming from pureness, man. Bring it up. The book of Numbers, chapter 25, and verse number 6. Bring it up. And behold, one of the children of Israel. One of the who? One, one of the, the children, children of Israel. Hey, you two sisters right there, the one with the yellow with your damn ass and sis. Put some damn clothes on. Bring it up. Hey, y'all ain't got no, no damn shame, man. Hey, put, pull your pull that shit down, man. Stank it uh, Stank I know that shit stank, man. I know it stank, man. I know it stank. Come on back over here. It, it uh, proved to me that it's gonna stay. We're gonna pull these curses on you. I know it's stank. Hey, Captain McAfee say he don't wanna know. I don't think none of these brothers wanna know, man. Hey, y'all are an embarrassment to that race, man. Yeah, bring this up. The book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 24. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, instead of the so called black woman, instead of having a sweet smell, because y'all are the priests, so called blacks and Hispanics, we normally have a sweet smell. Read, instead of a sweet smell, instead of a sweet smell, what? That shall 
be stink. There shall be what? There shall be stink. There shall be what? There shall be stink. There shall be stink. Thus says the Lord, man. I know y'all stink down there. Y'all ain't keeping the commandments, man. You walking around with these pants on? Hey, you supposed to be letting yourself breathe, man. So called heathen told us today uh wear their pants, man. Hey, y'all just gotta let the thing breathe. That should be stink. Y'all stink ass, man. <laughs> Finish it. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 13 and verse 17. Bring it up. Likewise thou, son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people. Hey, we set our face against the, our, our women. The way that you tell that a nation is, is, is in order is when you look at their women and you see the women are in order. Right. And the so-called black women is all out of damn order, man. All out of damn order. Ain't got no shame in a damn game, man. All right? She want to rule over her damn man, right? She, she want to, you know, dress like a damn whore. All right? Read. Right. Right. Which prophesied out of their own heart uh -huh. and prophesied them against them. Uh -huh. So, man, we out here to basically, man, it might, like, it might sound like I'm yelling and screaming, man. Hey, my last precept. Let me get you, man. Because y'all might think I'm just out here yelling straight. Hey, man, I'm mourning for my people, man. That's right. It's the same thing to see y'all out there like this. Right. Y'all got to come back to y'all God. Right? Bring it out. This is the book of Jude, chapter 1, and verse 22. Bring it out. And I'm sure, having compassion. Hey, son, look, 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 y'all. Some I can have compassion. I'm like, hey, y'all, come here. You know, I can talk to you sweetly, man. I can talk to you sweetly. But read. Make it a difference. And make it a difference. I can, I can talk to some of the Israelites, the so called Latin Spanish, and Native Americans sweetly. And I can make a difference. Read. And others. And others, man. Read. Save with fear. Save with what? Save with fear. Hey, the Lord told me to kind of get on your hands, man. Because you're hard headed and you're stiff necked. Right. Pulling them out of the fire. And hey, we're just trying to pull you out of a fire. If one of y'all was on that train track, I'm going to be like, hey, brother, hey, sister, get out the, tra the train coming. No, I'm going to say, hey, get your ass out the track. A train is coming. Hey, yo, King Christ is coming, man. He's coming back, man. Right. And we have to be ready. Bring it right? out. Right. Hey, even the garment spotted by the flesh. Hey, the garment spotted by the flesh. Y'all being a sin, man. Y'all got to come back to y'all got to keep the commandments. Right. That's it on that. Hey, I said that's my last precept, but go ahead. The book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone, like a great millstone, huh? and cast it into the sea. He cast it into the sea, right? Saying, that's with violence. That's with what? That's, that's with violence. That's with love. That's, that's with violence. violence. That's with peace. That's, that's with violence. That's with violence, man. Read. Shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be filled no more at all. And with that, I say,